Hi everyone, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we're going to be creating this extra tall cake decorated for a christening with some gold spheres and a cross. You can find all the materials to replicate this at the My Dream Cake website listed in our bio. I'm starting off with my 10 inch cake board and my 6 inch cake. I've baked three cakes in total, cut them in half and then filling them in with buttercream. This buttercream has been tinted black because I had a whole bunch left over. They were all different colors, so it just made sense to make it all one uniform color. After they've all been stacked, I'm adding in two dowels on either side. This is what's going to keep our cake from becoming lopsided and diagonal. Create a crumb coat with buttercream, the same color as your final layer of frosting. Just going on to the sides using up any of that black buttercream poking through and then smooth it all out. Pop it into your fridge to set for at least half an hour to an hour if you can. I find that taller cakes just need a little extra time to set. And then apply that final layer of frosting. You can see here that even though we used a different color underneath, it does not show through to that final layer. Fill in any pockets as you go. Drag that top lip towards the middle. And again, you'll want to refrigerate this for another hour until the frosting is nice and firm. For the decoration, I'm using the iconic Lust Dust in gold. And then pop in either rose water spirit, lemon juice, or white vinegar if you can't use alcohol. And then with the brush, when it's a nice fine paint, we're going to be tapping it on the edge of our little container there to create little splotches in gold all over the cake. You can also create larger ones by just swiftly knocking it with your hand. And then in go these awesome little tools. They are such time savers. They're little gold spheres and we're just popping them at the top, at the bottom, creating a bit of a kind of flourish hidden down towards the middle of the cake. These do come in a whole bunch of different colors. I chose gold here, but there's metallic and um, non-metallic as well. Into the middle, I've left a space for my acrylic cross and your cake is complete. This is really easy. It's a lot of fun and these spheres I just can't get enough of them so if you'd like to recreate this do send us photos we'd love to see it hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot and My Dream Cake you can find all the materials used today at the My Dream Cake website listed in our bio thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you again in the next one